Rated T for Teen. A Dragon Ball game without gravity defying duels between champions is no Dragon Ball game at all, and Fusions is no exception. In fact, this action RPG ups the ante, letting two teams of five face off for glory. In case you missed our first installment, this is our second video showing off the game's core features. Today, we're breaking down the battle system. Let's get into it. First things first, there are three unit types in Dragon Ball Fusions, and they function like a Super Saiyan game of rock, paper, scissors. Speed is strong against power, but power is strong against technique, which, on the other hand, is strong against speed. Each character belongs to a certain category, so keep these matchups in mind before choosing a target. Also consider the timeline at the bottom of the screen. The character closest to the right is next up to perform an action, but if that character takes damage, they'll move slightly to the left, potentially allowing another character to take his or her position. Consider ganging up on one enemy to push them further and further back in line. Once you've decided on a target, it's time to strike. In keeping with the spirit of the series, standard attacks not only look fantastic, but can also unleash a string of unexpected beatdowns and destruction. Check this out. When Goten selects Piskit with a standard attack, you're given a brief window to see the direction you want to send him or her flying. This isn't just for show. Knock enemies into their friends to deal extra damage or launch them out of the arena and into a nearby rock formation. Ouch! Key attacks and special attacks follow many of the same rules when it comes to positioning and direction, but they can't be used as freely as your standard moves. Consider your key gauge when choosing to unleash Kamehameha's and Spirit Bombs. And be careful, your enemies can also set up brutal chain reactions, knocking your characters into each other or out of the ring. But you don't have to take your lumps lying down. As an enemy prepares to strike, hold the slide pad in the direction you'll think they'll attack from, choose correctly, and you'll block, significantly reducing the incoming damage. That about does it for today, but there's a lot more to come in our third and final video. We haven't even covered fusions yet! Stay tuned!